Hey guys, this is Mistress Nightmare here, and this is a bonus video for you guys since Hey There Little Ones only two minutes long, and I'm sorry about that. Anyway, we'll be reading a story I kind of forgot about, and I stopped at chapter five. I guess you guys will recognize it by the title. It's called Eyeless Love, chapter six. Before we get started, please hit that like button, comment, subscribe to this channel if you guys want more creepypasta and fanfictions out there. Until then, let's get started. Kira's point of view. I woke up in a dark room. The walls were gray, dark gray, and there was no windows. To the left, oh, there was a window to the left. The sun was out. How long have I been asleep? I looked to my left, and Jack was sitting in a chair next to me. His head was on the bed. His arms were crossed under it. He was asleep. I shake him awake and it worked. Kira, he hugged me. Jack, where are we? We're at a friend's house. Whose? Slendy's? You mean the Slender Man? Yeah. He sat back in, down in his chair. He seemed a bit about upset about that or something jack what's wrong he held my hand kira i love you and i would do anything for you but what i think it would be best if you went home what how can you say that kira you almost died i don't care but the rake He's still out there. And there... And you saw what he did to you. I don't care what he did. I could feel tears raining and building up in my eyes. But I don't want to lose you. This isn't easy for me either, you know. I don't care if he kills me. I just want to be with you, Kira. Please, don't make me leave. I started crying. He sat there on the bed next to me and laid my head on his chest. I don't want to lose you, he whispered. I know, but I don't want to lose you either. I want us to stay together, even if that bastard comes back. I started to calm down. Kira. He gently grabbed my chin and lifted, lifted my face. I looked right back into his eyes. He kissed me and wrapped, I wrapped my arms around his neck. He slowly pinned me to the bed and the kiss got rougher. He pulled away and I was disappointed at the loss. I love you, he whispered. And I love you too, no matter what. I came back down, he came back down and kissed me. All his emotions melted into me. 